Hello Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays Pokemon Insurgents version 116. When we last left off, we got here to Selene, we explored around, fought Persephone, who was apparently out in the open and unprepared for us, which was good, because we actually didn't have any issues with her despite being a little bit underleveled. So, to show that I did a little bit of work in between episodes, because I have no idea what to expect for this gym, I got everybody to about 67, 68 in that range, you can see it here. I've got Eevee in front because this is a Ghost and Psychic gym, and I've been told Dark types are very handy here. We'll see. I'm afraid of Focus Blast. Let's see, welcome to the Gym of Dreams, where walls are sightless and not as all as it seems. Leave no stone unturned or unexplored. So walk right on, hero, and find just reward. Walk right on? So I just, like, walk straight through? Oh! Okay. A chance was taken, a chance was missed, to not fight trainers and to persist. But a chance you had and have again to walk straight into her domain. Um, so just walk straight through, yeah? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Neat. So, if you don't want to fight all the trainers, which I don't, because that's way more time than I have available to me right now, you can just walk straight through. That's, I really like that. That's a cool concept. I'm gonna save here, just in case some bullshit happens. You know the kind. You've seen it in this series. Alright, let's go. Welcome, Challenger. Cord's in the way. I am Diana, leader of the Selene City Gym. The gym I run is themed around dreams, and as such, I specialize in both psychic and ghost types. I hope you find my gym puzzle clever. If you understood the poem, I'm sure you had no trouble getting through my gym at all. When it said to walk right ahead, well, I couldn't be any more literal. We figured that out, lady. Thank you very much, though. But anyways, enough of that, right? Let's get this show on the road. Get ready to lose. Oh, I like the slow, dramatic turn away from each other as it's like, This is the last gym. This is the last gym available in this beta, stupid mic bumps. One of these days I'll get that right. Alright, let's do this. It's an interesting outfit. I'm not quite sure I understand the whole, like... Are those bangs? Or I, I can't really tell. I'm not going to question it. Okay, so we're leading with Sableye. I'm going to lead with Foul Play. Because I really don't see a reason not to. If he's 65... I guess we ended up picking all right, because that means that the... The, 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 I don't know, I guess the strongest Pokemon for this person will be, what, 70, 67, 68? Really? Foul play didn't hit very hard. Knockoff isn't going to do very much. Considering that we can't lose our item at this point, really. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I follow the knockoff here. I mean, I wish he would knock it off. Oh, come on, dude, seriously. Come on, just get a crit or something. Just get a crit, Umbreon. That's all you gotta do. Just get a crit. If we're moving faster... Can we hit harder with the Ice Beam? Since that'll be higher special attack? Yeah, okay. I guess I should've just done that at first. I don't know. Gardevoir. Psychic and Fairy. Right? Yeah, Psychic... So is this the Mega? No, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be too easy. Psychic and Fairy... Um, I guess we'll go Lester. Lester can take a hit pretty... Like, Lester's good now. Now that he's on level for, for stuff, rather. Lester's good. But I think... Yeah, we should be able to set up a sword stance, right? I don't think there's anything Gardevoir can do to us. Ow. Hidden power fire. Didn't see that coming. That hurts. Okay. x Scissor needs to one hit. It's not going to. Balls. Oh, it did! Sweet! I mean, I totally planned that. Totally planned it. Uh, Gengar. Do we have anything that hits Gengar? No, we don't. Not on that. Not on that Pokemon, at least. Um, is Gengar the Mega? No, that'd be too easy. They did that already with Persephone. Uh, poison. We could go with Ground. We could go with Psychic. Psychic is a bad idea because Ghost. Uh, we could go Dark. He's probably got Focus Blast though. Uh, I don't remember if he has Levitate. I guess we'll find out together. Sent out Gengar. Hello. Would you like an Earthquake? Shadow Ball. Please don't hit that hard. Oh, you did. And you have a Life Orb. That's fine. Yep, you have Levitate. That's unfortunate. Okay. I can never remember what Gengar's ability is. Ooh, Icy Wind. That shouldn't KO? Hoo 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 hoo. My speed fell, though. Okay, um, I don't think we can live with Recover. He's gonna hit us with Icy Wind. Nope. What do we do? What do we do? 
Um, he's gonna hit with Icy Wind. So, he's gonna hit with Icy Wind, which means if we switch to Marty, we can tank that hit. But then he's gonna go for the Sludge move. Ah, we're gonna lose somebody here no matter what, I think. Well, I think Pigpen is the least likely to be useful for us. Come on. Low on that RNG, please. Okay. So I think we're going to try and chip away at this Gengar. And he, I think he's still fast with us. Yeah, Gengar's speedy. So this will give us the ability to switch into... Probably Raichu? I think Raichu's faster. Raichu should be faster. I mean, that's Raichu's gimmick, is being faster. Thunderbolt should finish. Yeah, okay. And then we can go from there. Chandelure, we can definitely switch into Marty. Three left, so what's the Mega? Is Chandelure the Mega? I mean, we don't care about that, do we? Energy Ball, come on, please do not KO. Come on, Marty. Oh, Marty living. Marty is living. Yes! Everything's coming up, Zachary. <laughs> Oh, uh, the burn's unfortunate. Because I think that's going to KO him. Goth Gothitelle. That has to be the Mega. That absolutely has to be the Mega. There can be no other choice. Cleaver's probably a bad idea. He's got a Focus Sash, though. So he can at least get... <sighs> What'll hit hard? Oh, Close Combat! He learned Close Combat. In his, in his training, I, sh I guess you could say. Yeah, Mega Pennant. Yeah, okay. I figured this was the Mega. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. That's a really... I really like that design, actually. Psy Shock. Okay. We should live with the, with the Focus. That's cool. Wait a minute. What? Excuse me? Why didn't... Why didn't... Why didn't close combat happen? What just... What, what just happened? Okay. Please live. Fuck. What happened? Why didn't the close combat go off? I'm I'm very confused. <sighs> There's no way that she doesn't have focus blast. But I really don't see any other options here. Okay, dark pulse. So we go for the foul play. This will do regular, just standard, bog standard damage. Focus blast, calm mind. Okay, so you're gonna start. You're gonna start setting up. That's not good. Do we think a flare blitz? Yeah, that shouldn't do very much. Do we think a flare blitz will take out Gothitelle? I don't. I don't know actually. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit for one more foul play, heal up, and then we'll f we'll uh, yeah, we'll heal up and we'll have to go two more foul plays. There's really not much else that can be done here. Oh, I have a rare candy. How did I miss that? Um, there you are, Eric. Okay, so the shadow ball still don't care about that. My assumption is that Umbreon is going to carry us through. Whatever is going to be our uh, our foe for the last slot, and I'm kind of nervous because this has been way too easy. Okay, so the shadow ball still isn't doing very much. There's the foul play. So Mega Gothitelle, not a big deal. Cresselia? Oh, that's right. Somebody mentioned that she had a legendary. Can Cresselia learn Focus Blast? These are the questions we ask ourselves. Let's heal and see what happens. Signal beam. Okay. So you have bug. But you're also not hitting very hard, so... Can we just do what we did earlier and stall out with items? I mean, it's not a, a fair tactic, but... I don't really have any better options here. Oh, and it's got, she's got leftovers, too. That's unfortunate. Unlucky crit here would suck. Yeah. 
Man, Umbreon's not hitting as hard as I would care. Not that we're really in control of that. Okay. So... Heal you up. And I guess we just whittle down? Leftovers. Trying to get a freeze on us, maybe? I don't know. Calm. Okay, that's going to make the signal beams a problem. So we're going to have to finish Cresselia off sooner rather than later. And these leftovers are going to make that a difficult task. Yeah, the signal beam's going to hurt. Yep, okay. So here's foul play. I think one more foul play does it, but I don't know if we survive another hit. We gotta try it. Oh, thank you for going for Ice Beam. Go down. We did it. Yeah! Suck on that Mega and Legendary Gym Leader bullshit shenanigans. That was stunning battling. Thank you. I try. It seems as if I've been toppled. I guess it had to happen eventually. Congratulations, here's your prize. The Dreamland Badge. This will let higher level Pokemon obey you. It can also attract rare or wild Pokemon in certain areas, such as the Friend Safari. And take this too, as a gift from me. Psychic? Cool. That TM contains the move Psychic. Psychic is perhaps the most well-known Psychic-type move. Maybe because it's in the name of the typing. I'm not sure. It's very strong and very reliable. This TM is definitely an invaluable asset for any trainer. Next, I'll assume you'll want to go to Ampharite City. My boyfriend, Calwreath, runs the gym there. His team specializes around the rain, so you might want to prepare for that. Oh, and don't forget, you can exit the gym by just going straight down. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. That is... That was Celine City Gym. It, pretty straightforward if you don't think about it too much, really. Oh, no. So, I wonder... Okay, so the first thing... Well, I'm gonna muse first, because I can muse while I'm walking, while I'm running. So, I kind of wonder where the, the cutoff for this game is, because I know that the game is still in beta, technically. Um, and from what I remember in 116, you can only earn up to six gym badges, and that's what we just did. So my assumption is that there will eventually be a point that we're not able... Uh, pardon. ...to progress because of that fact. What are we going to lead with? I don't think anybody leveled. Huh, I guess we'll just lead with Eric. Everett's, er, 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 Eric has good type coverage. Anyways. So what's going on over here? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Hello, lady. So I wouldn't worry about too much about that. It's too close to the ruins and people are worried that it might get damaged. Okay, smooth looking rock. That's fun. I kind of just want to find Tane and see what's going on. Max Repel. So what's up here? Is this the ruins? Dragon Ruins, yep. Somebody told me this place was, shall we say, of interest. Oh, great, and it's a labyrinth, too. Because you know what? You know what makes this, you know, you know what makes this fun? Labyrinths. Everybody loves a good labyrinth. Everybody loves a good maze. Everybody loves to feel lost and hopeless. Okay. I guess we'll see what Pokemon are here, so is that. Okay, I have the baby version of you, so I'm not overly interested in that, but I appreciate the offer. What is that, a magnet? Okay, so we could get ourselves a magnezone if we so desired. Oh no. Hi there, buddy! I'm not overly in need of your services, but again, just like everybody else, thank you very much for the offer. Okay, seriously, where the hell am I supposed to go? For alligator, yeah, that's nice. I got an Azumarill I've put a lot of time into, but oh my god, go away. I'm about ready to put on a repel. Okay, finally. There we go. Uh, let's go this way. My gut tells me... Oh. My gut told me treasure was over there. My gut is a dirty, filthy liar. Hi, Charizard. Jeez, is this where you come to get, like, all the fossils and legendaries? I mean, goddamn. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll surf over there. Shit. Why did this place need this many walls? Like, seriously. What, what is the purpose of this? Oh, wait. I don't need you. 
Okay, so we keep going this way. What's around this wall? A Max Repel, hidden by the wall. See? Treasure. I, I sometimes have a nose for it. And you know what? I am I think I'm going to... Well, I'm actually going to use this for a candy on our Raichu, because Raichu's not so great. Leveling. Where are my repels? Okay, so now that we have a repel on, we can move a little bit more easily through these ruins, because... Oh, and I'm, I'm glad that I used it when I was right next to where I needed to be. Hi, Nora. I'm going to save first. Come on. There we go. <sighs> Indef, I'm so glad you decided to show up. This is the moment of my triumph. Every time I failed, you were there to witness it. After we tried to create the perfect Delta Pokemon, after we experimented with Mega Evolution, and the incident with Pokerus and Mold. And now that our experiment with armor failed too, you might think we're running out of ideas. And tell me, Indef and Nora, do you know the myth of the Unovan Dragon? Legend speaks of a gargantuan dragon that once reigned over all of Unova. Its power was supervised by two brothers, the princesses of the region. Prince princesses? Come on, dude. Princes! However, these brothers constantly fought over their beliefs. One seeked truth, one strove for ideals, and, finding no middle ground, they split the great dragon into three. Rashiram, truth, and Zekrom, ideals, emerged, where Kyrim was left as the dragon's empty husk. This ruin is very, very ancient, and while the dragon did rule in Unova, the war between the brothers was in Torin. In fact, the great splitting was at this very spot. A shrine was built here in the hopes that one day the dragon might be formed once again and bring peace to the land. And that day is today. Bob Rukra has been busy experimenting. The most important job in the Perfection Cult was left to me. It was difficult. I needed three different legendary Pokémon. But I succeeded. And now, the original dragon was said to be a sign of leadership, of wholeness. It represented opposing beliefs finding neutral ground and working together. The idea of harmony and of perfection. Once we summon this creature, we'll be unstoppable. And the only thing left is to begin. Rashiram, Zekrom, and Kyrim, it's time to return to your origins. Join together and become whole once more. Ignis e fulgara fuint unum. Fire and something joined to one. So is this actually happening? And now, great dragon of Unova, the di the, the, the dine? The divine, perfect god. Emerge, the great Namahere. It's just blue fire and fusion effects. Um, what did you say? Maybe you didn't hear me, dragon. I said emerge, the great Namahere. I'm assuming it's a Japanese pronunciation. I actually have no idea. Are you reading that off a scroll? Yeah, why? Pretty sure you're reading that wrong. I, th I think you're supposed to say the dragon's name at that part, not just Namahire. It's probably a placeholder. Oh, huh. That's what the parentheses are for. But, but hold on, that's impossible. Nobody knows the name of the original dragon. The only names that survived were Rashiram, Zikram, and Kyrim. How are we supposed to bring it back, then? <sighs> Fine. I was hoping to resurrect the original dragon today, but it seems that that's not happening. I'll find that name. I'll search every scroll text or book until I learn it. But for now, I'll split you into Kyrim, White, and Zekrom. Come forth and serve me. I'll deal with the two of you here and now. This is the end. So, is it going to be like a, a, a double? No, he's just going to fight me. Okay. Oh, okay. Metagross and Salamence. Sent out Dewblade. That better be an Eviolite Dewblade, or I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, so I guess we're gonna Ice Beam the Salamence. And hope we don't get hit by a Meteor Mash from Metagross. Come on. There we go. Outrage. Shouldn't KO. I said that shouldn't KO. Oh, come on. Screw you! Screw you. Oh yeah, it's a little late for that, don't you think, buddy? <sighs> um, no, that'll hit our ally too. What do I do here? I guess I go fairy. 
If I'd known he was going to lead with a dragon, I would have led with my fairy in the first place. Outrage. Oh, come on. Seriously? This is going real well for us. Play rough with the dragon! Outrage. Shouldn't you be confused by this point? There we go. Not that that's a big deal. Well, I guess it could be a big deal. It is a big deal. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see what you got. What are you sending in? Out Luxray. That is unfortunate. And you're a facade Luxray. Oh, joy. Uh, fudge. And the only ground move Pigpen has is Earthquake, which will hit the Dewblade. Hmm... I mean, we're gonna get Thunderbolted either way, right? I guess we might as well send in Pigpen. The Earthquake is just gonna have to happen. Yeah. Suck it. Okay. Speed fell. That's whatever. Okay, sorry, Dewblade, but I I gotta do this. They're gonna focus me down. Ooh, this may KO Dewblade. Come on, go down. Or not. That's cool, too. Sorry, buddy. I knew that you were protected by the Reflect, but there's really not much else I could do there. It's worth it, considering that we can now... that we're now ahead... basically 2-0. Sacred Swords, whatever. Without Kyrim, it's rating, a blazing aura. Reflect faded. Um, I guess we go for another earthquake at this point. Fusion flare, that hurts. Please don't KO, sweet. Okay, so there goes the Metagross. And I'm assuming Kyrim is fire, if it's radiating a blazing aura. Sorry, dude, Blade. I'm assuming you have another guy that you can use. Oh, come on, really? I'm gonna have to look up the typing. Sent out Typhlosion. Send out a flyer, Nora. Please send out a flyer. That's not quite there. Um, okay, we'll be right back. I need to look up the typings. Okay, so Kyrim is um, Ice and Dragon. And if Earthquake isn't cutting it, then maybe we need to go Rock Tomb? Oh, good, you have Mega Typhlosion. Mega Typhlosion? Wait a minute. Is that an actual thing, or is this a Pokemon Insurgents thing? That's a Pokemon Insurgents thing, okay. That's gonna hurt. Oh, we've got Mega Flygon, too. The Mega everybody wanted when ORAS came out. Whoa, ho, ho. Nice. Ow. Hubris, hubris boosted what now? Whoa! Okay. How are you supposed to fight against that? I... Okay. Sent out Celebi. Why would you send in a grass type? When there is very clearly a fire type on the board. I may not even survive this. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? I double resist fire. What are you supposed to do? I don't... I don't understand. Maybe Raichu is faster? And I can... Paralyze him? Oh good, Nora doesn't have any Pokemon left. Okay. I don't... I don't get it. What are you supposed to do? Eruption just destroys everything. I don't... 
<laughs> I just don't get it. Okay, well, I guess we'll give this another shot, so we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Actually, I just looked at the recording time, and apparently a lot more time passed than I anticipated, so what I have to do is actually uh, call this episode here. Um, I've got a lot of administrative stuff that I've got to do on my end this afternoon, so this is really all I'm going to be able to get done for today. But, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you want to see me take down Tane in the next episode, then go ahead and make sure you do that YouTube tri trifecta of liking, commenting, and subscribing. I love seeing those comments pinned down there below. And, I hope to catch you guys in the next chapter. Bye-bye. Um, it's not bad, actually. Your film is dark. <laughs>